posted a simple transition video of me and my husband going from towels to dressed up together. This is not unlike what all kinds of different couples do on this app. My video went viral and I know we all know why. It's because by beauty standards, we don't make sense. Alicia McCarvel is a self-love advocate and content creator with 5.8 million followers on TikTok. She tackles conversations around body image, worth, and self-love, mainly through humor. She joins us live from Halifax this morning. Alicia, welcome to the show. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Alicia, you're amazing. Congratulations on this because it's newfound fame with oh, almost 6 million followers within a year when one of your posts went viral. And there's so much online that it's kind of impossible to determine what's going to stick. And it's because you speak from the heart. Tell us a little bit about that first video that set you off into this whole new journey. Um, so I originally had a video similar to this one two years ago, almost three years ago, go viral for the same reason. Um, and then last year, this video happened and it just blew up. It was a simple transition video of my husband and I in towels, switching into our wedding outfits. And like that, it was that simple and the internet was in an uproar about it, um, which led to some really important conversation and a conversation that I've been having, but TikTok has given me such a bigger platform <clears throat> to say the things that I want to say and to kind of hold people accountable and to help people feel good in their skin. Mm -hmm. Alicia, what role has humor played in this for you? Because there's a lot of ways to get a message across. How you've, you've really zoned in on that aspect of it. Has it been effective? Yeah, this work is hard. Um, you're you're tearing apart years and years of learned behavior when it comes to how you feel about yourself and how you feel about your body. Um, if we didn't laugh through it, we would be crying through it. Um, and I'm a firm believer that humor makes education more digestible and it makes learning and the time you spend on learning those things a little bit easier. Um, and it's been uh, a pivotal point in my husband and I's relationship is, is comedy and humor and I think it's so important to to understand that we can be learning and it doesn't always have to be difficult it can also be fun sometimes yeah and it's interesting because I know even you know at the Grammys I don't know if you watched it but Mary J Blige oh my gosh it was a beautiful performance saying good morning and self affirmations to oneself and self love and self care instead of always being so hard on ourselves Lizzo did the same and there is this positivity that's being sent out to the world I think to try and combat this overwhelming negativity that can often come in via toxicity trolls so how do you handle all that stuff all that noise what keeps you going and staying so positive. Um. There's always more good than there is bad. And I think it's super important to remind myself of that some days and uh, the majority of people. Um, I use a 3E system. I treat it like a business. Uh, I erase comments that are hurtful. I educate people where I see fit and I eradicate people from my space when necessary um, because I think that it's important to realize that, you know, this might be my job, but this is also my safe space and where I share and, and I'm entitled to a safe space that's on a healthy help people through the body and body and in their skin. So it's pretty technical because um, otherwise I take it personal. Good for you. The three E's. I like for that. For sure. Yeah. Um, Alicia, you know, the term haters has been used for a long time. I do... I feel like it's normalized things. It's not a phrase I like using a lot because what's what's developing now is something completely different. So I'll ask I'll ask it this way. How do you deal with hateful people who are saying stuff uh, to you on social that they would never in a million years say to your face? I also hate the term haters are going to hate. I think it allows people to be complacent. Um, for me, I think it's important to hold people accountable, um, but I also think that it has to come from a, comp a place of compassion. Um, I have taken time to unlearn the way that I feel about my body. I've been motivated to do so because I live in this body. Um, when people are saying hateful things or hurtful things on the internet, um, it's because they've learned those things somewhere and haven't been motivated to unlearn them. So I think being compassionate is important. 
I've been there. I've said worse to myself. And sometimes I have to remind myself of that also. Um, but at the same time, it's also important to me that I hold people accountable when people say hurtful things in my space, because I never want anybody who looks like me or feels like me to be in my space and think that I believe that that's acceptable. And hopefully I've taught people, but hopefully I've also taught people how to stick up for themselves um, when that educational piece doesn't work. Absolutely. You're inspiring so many people right now to find you head on over to her account at Alicia McCarville. To anybody watching right now who is struggling, because I'm sure you have days too, you're only human, where you're like, I don't know if I could do this. I don't feel like doing it today. What's that one tip that you can give people at home to practice more self-love? Um, start writing it down. Start writing down the things that you like about yourself that have nothing to do with your body. That is what changed my life. That is how I learned how to separate who I am from what my body is. And it's really important to remember that even the people we're comparing ourselves to are struggling. Yeah. Um, Self-love and that struggle belongs to everybody. Um, and you're not alone. You're amazing. We love you very much and love to all in Halifax. Nothing but good, good people me. there. Take care, Alicia. Keep it up, Alicia. World needs more people like you. The best spots Thank in the you. country.